F-A-T-K-I-D, I'm a fat kid. Too heavy for my height, the inflection in my voice never seemed to sync properly with my outer exterior of fat kid. But didn't know I was fat until about seventh grade. See, I was in the puberty, and fat jokes rolled in in unison, and I couldn't handle it. Travis, you don't need any more food. Talk to me when your balls dropped, and in ninth grade, I was constantly buying new shoes. See, I was sort of a businessman. I would buy a pair of shoes, wear it, then sell it for profit, repeat. I think I did this. So my upper body attracted no attention. Like, look at my shoes, they're new. Don't look up. No, don't look up, please. You won't like what you see. I won't like what I see. Mirrors were my kryptonite. See, when you're a fat kid, the world feels that to get you. You pretend not to be hungry. You stay quiet in crowded rooms to avoid a fat joke. And when I was younger, I had this really weird habit. After I would say a sentence, I would mouth it to myself. I think I was replaying every word in my head to make sure that no human being could spin it around to remind me of the number that I saw on the scale. I think I was creating a language where heavy didn't exist, where hey fat ass didn't exist. If you look hard enough, you can read my life story in the folds of my body and I like the skateboard. People used to say to me, Travis, I think that board is a weight limit. You know, that comment used to dig in my self-conscious, self -conscious, but I no longer think they're wrong. There's always a weight limit. There's a weight limit to love yourself. There's a weight limit to your self-esteem. There's a weight limit to feel wanted, and sometimes I don't feel worthy using the ground to carry me forward. There's a weight limit to find yourself attractive, and most days I feel 50 pounds over ugly. See when you're a fat kid. You're humiliated by the sight of yourself in the shower, even though you're the only person who can see it, even though... The way you look becomes the most memorable thing about you. They put me in the newspaper, but just couldn't scrape chubby and 16 from the backs of their throat. And I hate my friend's attempts at being comforting. You're just big boned. It's not comforting. You're just chubby. It's not comforting. There's more of you to love. It's not comforting because when there's more of you to love, there's also more of you to utterly hate about yourself. See, when you're a fat kid, you wait until everybody else has gotten off the school bus. They don't have to see you waddle in between the seats. See, when you're a fat kid, winter is your favorite season because it is the season when you get to cover yourself up the most. See, when you're a fat kid, you hide away from the mirror in the dressing room until you have a costume on pretty enough to hide your hideous. Shirts never rest on your torso the way you want them to. Life doesn't rest on your torso the way you want it to. Life doesn't go the way you want it to. See, this world will rip you apart, strip you naked, laugh at the marks it leaves on your body and demand that you loathe the most glorious parts of yourself. This world will pick you last at everything, but in this hectic dodgeball game we call life, someone will pick you first and it will only make it sweeter. You are not someone's hatred. You are not what you were called. You are a movement. So take that selfie, motherfucker, because someone someday will want it as their wallpaper. I am just now learning to love myself. I am just now beginning to forgive every hair on my face that is yet to grow. It's okay. Take your time. I'm beautiful. Every pound that I carry with me represents another reason that I have to be on this stage because I am beautiful. I will now dive into a pool of my insecurities and make sure everybody sees me without my shirt on because I'm beautiful. I am now man enough to take a moment of silence for the falling of hostess because I am beautiful. I I will play a pickup game of basketball, be skins on purpose and jiggle my way to victory because I'm beautiful. This is for the fat kids everywhere or anyone who's ever been made fun of for the way they look because see, we are fat kids and we are beautiful.